How's it going everybody? If you watched my last video, I got my Sony A6500 here hooked up to this telescope. It was just kind of a brief video showing you that it can be done and kind of how it works. It was getting a little dark so I didn't really get a good uh, chance to show you guys the kind of pictures it takes. So this video is going to be me taking a few different pictures. I'm also going to see if there's any stars out tonight and also shoot the moon. Show you guys what it's capable of. So, here we go. birds up there. Let's see. So I was on my way home and the moon looks freaking awesome. I'm going to try to get out there and take some pictures of it with the telescope. I hope it doesn't change any colors. It's like bright orange, but I can't see it from my house, so I have to drive somewhere so I can see it. Come on, touch this one time. All right, let's go inside. All right, fine, you're coming. It looks like there's clouds. Hope they don't cover up the moon. So the moon has gone behind some clouds out there. We're all set up. I'm gonna see if I can at least get trained on it to where when it does pop out, I'm ready to focus and shoot. I left my stinking remote shutter release at home as in a rush. So I'll just have to use the two second shutter on it. All right, it's peeking in and out. I haven't gotten a good shot yet. I'm gonna keep trying. All right, there it is. The clouds are coming and going on it. Alright, I have got it in frame here. It's poked out. I'm getting a couple good pictures. I got some clouds over it now. Focus is still kind of touchy. I think it's too low on the horizon. It's getting some uh, some kind of heat wave distortion over it, so it's hard to get a real crisp, sharp image. So I'll keep uh, I'll keep shooting and uh, show you guys the best one we get. All right, we just about got the crab nebula in frame. I'm going to try and shoot a few pictures. You can't see anything, but I assure you it's there.
So I was just editing that video and realized I didn't film any ending cut. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I took a variety of pictures, I thought. Hopefully that gives you an idea of the image quality you can expect out of a telescope like that with your camera hooked up to the back of it. It is kind of tough because it was an F15 lens, so there was. I think that there are options out there as far as telescopes go that will give you better results as far as image quality goes. But um, thanks for watching and join me in the next one.